In the last few years alone, people have found things no one was ever supposed to see again. We're talking about objects buried under deserts, ruins hidden by forests, entire histories that just disappeared. And then out of nowhere they come back, not in a flashy movie style but in quiet digs, chance encounters, or even while someone's just walking their dog. These finds weren't just lost for a little while. They were gone for hundreds, sometimes thousands of years, totally forgotten. Until now. And each one has a story that'll make you rethink what lost forever actually means. These are the 15 most amazing discoveries that came back from the dead. Number 15. The Roman Stylus with a Joke. Well, we all know most ancient relics come with mystery or grandeur, but every now and then one shows us just how cool human people were thousands of years ago. Buried near London's Cannon Street Station, archaeologists found a Roman stylus dated to around 70 AD. It's not exactly headline-worthy until they read the inscription carved along its side. This meaning roughly reads, I went to the city, brought you this gift, it's sharp, but my wallet is empty, so this is all you get. It's the ancient version of a tacky souvenir t-shirt, a tired traveler's joke. And it's brilliant. Most Roman-era finds are about war, governance, and trade, but this one, it's about being broke and wanting to make someone laugh. It's small, yes, but it's one of the most personal Roman artifacts ever recovered in Britain, a tiny metal pen joking about generosity and poverty still speaks to us 2,000 years later. Humans are sane. Just the time has changed. Number 14. The Fossilized Dinosaur Eggs In a patch of muddy terrain outside Pingshang City, four schoolboys walked past something no one else had noticed. What looked like rough, round stones poking out from the ground turned out to be far more ancient. A museum later confirmed the truth. 66 million-year-old fossilized dinosaur eggs, resting partially exposed since the Cretaceous period. They had survived erosion, rain, construction, and time, yet remained untouched until found by kids. These weren't buried in some remote canyon. They were sitting in plain sight, passed by daily. The boys chose not to keep them, handing them over to local experts for preservation and study. No headlines, no rewards, just instinct and respect. That decision gave scientists access to some of the best preserved prehistoric remains in the region. What's most remarkable isn't that the eggs survived, but that four curious kids were the ones to finally see what had been ignored for decades. It's a quiet reminder, not everything lost is buried deep. Some things are just waiting for someone to notice. Number Tress Ice Age Creatures Beneath Los Angeles Construction rarely slows down in Los Angeles. When workers started digging near the subway expansion downtown, they expected concrete, pipes, maybe the odd bottle cap. What they didn't expect was the past. At just 15 feet below the surface, the city gave up a graveyard of Ice Age animals saber-toothed cats, towering sloths, fragments of ancient wolves, and most notably, the full remains of a woolly mammoth, now nicknamed Hayden. It wasn't scattered bone, this was intact, unmistakably massive, and sitting just beneath modern traffic. Before this, it had been assumed the LA Basin was underwater during that period, but mammoths weren't exactly strong swimmers. The find forced a rethink of the area's prehistoric geography, this wasn't the first time the ground in L.A. had cracked open and exposed deep time, but each find sharpens the picture. Layer by layer, bone by bone, the fossil record here keeps rewriting itself beneath freeways and buildings. Even in one of the world's busiest cities, silence still holds pieces of prehistory. Number 12. Neolithic Settlement Outside Jerusalem During groundwork for a highway outside Jerusalem, Machinery exposed more than dirt. Just a few meters down lay the footprint of a 9-0-0-0-year-old settlement. Walls, tools, remnants of a community long erased from record. The structures weren't makeshift. They suggested planning, permanence, and cooperation. This wasn't a place people passed through. It was where they stayed. 
Before now there had been no confirmed Neolithic settlements in this part of the Levant. The discovery shifted timelines and maps, giving historians the earliest evidence of human presence in Judea. It caught a society in transition, still hunting, but beginning to tame the land and stay rooted. Arrowheads lay beside storage pits, stone tools mingled with early art. There were no monuments and no battles. Just signs of life shaping itself into something new. The Israeli Antiquities Authority now oversees the site, cataloging what they can before modern development takes over. These aren't ruins meant to impress. They're quieter than that. Foundations of a story we didn't know we'd forgotten until it came back into view. Number 11. Stone Blades from Ice Age Slovakia Life during the Ice Age wasn't just cold. It was brutal, and you don't want to imagine the pain of the people. You either fought to eat or froze trying. Inside Slovakia's Horka cave, archaeologists uncovered a cluster of stone blades that likely belonged to hunters 15,000 years ago. These weren't just scattered tools. They were found near what appeared to be an ancient hearth, suggesting that this dark frozen cave once served as a kind of home, maybe even a refuge. The blades, likely mounted on wooden shafts, were basic but deadly, and they offer a rare glimpse into survival during one of humanity's toughest periods. The cave has been explored for years, but this find marks the oldest evidence of human activity ever found there. Curiously, other objects have also turned up in more recent layers, like coins from World War II, hinting that even in modern times, people sought shelter here. This place kept humans alive, over and over in completely different eras. That's not just archaeology, that's raw, layered history. Number 10. Lake Titicaca sits, sunken, ritual site. Lake Titicaca has always had a mystique about it, but what archaeologists pulled from its waters was far beyond ordinary. Just off the Island of the Sun, 16 feet beneath the surface, divers discovered a submerged reef that was once sacred to the Tiwanaku civilization. What they found wasn't just random debris, it was a time capsule, carved puma figurines, stone animals, gold medallions, and thin sheets of gold stitched to leather. Alongside them the bones of llamas, likely sacrificed in rituals to the Tiwanaku sun god, somewhere between 800 and 1000 CE. But what truly shocked researchers were oyster shells. Not local ones, these came from Ecuador's coastline over 1,000 miles away. That means extensive trade routes existed back then, long before we assumed. The lake's frigid waters preserved the site in near-perfect condition, leaving everything undisturbed for over a millennium. It wasn't just a spiritual site, it was proof of how complex and far-reaching this lost civilization really was. We has lost a lot of history. Number 9. The Viking Necklace. In Glensheen Cave, nestled in the Burren region of County Clare, archaeologists stumbled upon a necklace that didn't belong there, not just geographically but culturally. It was undeniably Viking in design, made up of 71 glass beads, several wrapped in delicate gold foil. That's remarkable, considering most Viking necklaces found in Ireland barely feature a dozen beads and usually come from burial sites in Dublin. This piece was clearly significant, possibly ceremonial, maybe royal, and yet there's no evidence the Vikings ever settled in this area. How it ended up in Glensheen remains unsolved. Some researchers think it may have arrived via trade from Viking settlements in Limerick. If that's the case, whoever traded it must have given up something equally valuable, because this wasn't just an ornament, it was identity status and belief worn around the neck. Whoever owned it may have been a woman of power, perhaps even a Viking noble whose story now exists only in fragments of glass, buried in a cave no Viking was known to enter. Number 8. Roman Artifacts in Chatterwick Sometimes history waits beneath motorways. In 2016, road workers in Chatterwick, North Yorkshire, broke through soil that hadn't been disturbed in centuries and uncovered an archaeological jackpot. Buried beneath was a spread of artifacts so diverse, it rewrote what we thought we knew about Roman activity in the region. 
a cicada-shaped brooch crafted in Pannonia, a region now carved into several European countries, was found alongside a child-sized miniature sword still resting in its copper alloy scabbard. These weren't just trinkets, they hinted at long-distance trade, multicultural communities, and perhaps even young warriors in training. With over 175,000 objects pulled from the site, ranging from Iron Age to Roman, this wasn't just a roadside outpost, it was a hub. Historians now believe it was once a key Roman route, a strategic corridor that remains important today, as the A1 motorway follows nearly the same line. Beneath asphalt and traffic noise, traces of empire still linger, tiny pieces of lives that once passed through with ambition, commerce, or conquest in mind. Number 7. Pre-Roman Boomerang. In 2014, archaeologists excavating near Catentin in northern France uncovered a wooden throwing stick that looked suspiciously like a boomerang. Made roughly 2,000 years ago, this artifact shattered a tidy assumption that boomerangs were strictly the domain of ancient Australia. Similar tools have turned up in Egypt, and the oldest known example comes from Poland, dating back 30,000 years. But this French find tells its own story. It wasn't made to return when thrown, this was a hunting tool, meant for speed, force, and precision. With a strong arm behind it, it could knock birds from the sky, and possibly small mammals too. It dates to just before the Roman conquest of Gaul, offering a glimpse into the region's pre-Roman ingenuity. While the Roman legacy looms large across Europe, discoveries like this remind us that innovation didn't start or end with the empire. Cultures already thriving had their own inventions, their own answers to survival, and their own imprint hidden just beneath the surface. Number says, Ancient Children Sits, Toys. When archaeologists opened the tombs near the ancient seaport of Paran in 2017, they weren't expecting to find toys tucked beside the tiny remains of children. But that's exactly what lay there. Two 000-year-old figurines and miniature wagons, crafted with care and placed with purpose. These weren't ceremonial objects, they were real toys, used, worn, and deeply personal. The detail in their design is stunning. Dolls for the girls, wagons for the boys. Even in death, the gender roles of the time were preserved. Some of the toys may have been created specifically for burial, not play. Perhaps offerings for the afterlife, or simply a way for grieving families to provide one last comfort. It's not often we get to see childhood from the ancient world. Most of history focuses on leaders, battles, and empires. These toys, however, tell us something much softer. That even thousands of years ago, children laughed, played, and were loved. And when their short lives ended, someone made sure they didn't go into the dark empty-handed. Number 5. Malinaltepec Mask. These are just spooky. When the Malinaltepec Mask was first discovered in 1921, it looked suspiciously pristine, too intricate, too clean. So pristine, in fact, that many dismissed it as a modern fake. But in 2010, a long-delayed scientific investigation by Mexico's National Institute of Anthropology and History confirmed what a few always suspected the mask was authentic. Made 1,800 years ago, it's composed of nearly 800 tesserae, each one carefully shaped and fitted together like an ancient mosaic puzzle. But its story doesn't stop there. Though created during the classic Maya period, the mask was reused more than 700 years later in a post-classic funeral ceremony, with layers of Amazonite added to its surface. That second burial raises as many questions as the mask originally did. Why preserve something so old for so long? What did it mean to those who gave it a second life? It's not just a face from the past, it's a bridge between two different eras, two different stories, carved into the same beautiful surface. Number 4. The Theatrical Mask of Trales. In the ancient city of Trales, modern-day Aydin, archaeologists opened a 2000-year-old burial chamber in 2016 and found something unexpected, a remarkably preserved clay mask. 
At first glance, it looked like a death mask, but a deeper study suggested otherwise. Unlike typical funerary art, this one didn't aim to replicate the face of the deceased. Instead, researchers believe it represented their personality or passion, more specifically, their love for theater. The features, stylized and expressive, resemble traditional masks used in ancient drama. No similar objects have ever been recovered from other Hellenistic tombs in the region, which makes this mask a standout. Perhaps the person buried there wasn't just a fan of the stage, but a performer of some renown. The surrounding grave goods, lavish, but not royal, support that theory. The ongoing excavation hints that Tralles was once a vibrant cultural hub, active for thousands of years. This mask, once part of someone's identity, now serves as a voice from the past, one shaped in clay, not meant to be worn, but remembered. All right guys, now, let's head over to number 3. The Pocotia Monolith. The Pocotia Monolith is small enough to fit on a tabletop, yet its inscriptions may carry implications large enough to challenge history itself. Found in Bolivia, the carved stone is covered on all sides with symbols that some scholars believe resemble early Sumerian script proto-cuneiform to be exact. If that interpretation holds, it would suggest a direct link between ancient Mesopotamia and pre-Columbian South America. The inscription's content is even stranger. It refers to a divine oracle called Pataki, described as a universal messenger whose teachings are meant to reach all of humanity. The carvings were translated with the help of researchers who specialize in Sumerian writing systems, and while interpretations vary the linguistic similarities are hard to ignore. How Sumerian-style symbols ended up on a South American artifact is a mystery with no clean answer. Was it trade, migration, coincidence, or something else entirely? The stone may be small but it's a loaded artifact, its presence suggests that history as we know it may only tell part of the story. Number 2. The Pregnant Woman Sits Gold Ring In a Bronze Age cemetery in Hungary, archaeologists uncovered a burial that didn't just preserve remains, it unraveled assumptions. Among hundreds of ancient graves from the Vatia culture, a solid gold hair ring stood out. Buried inside an urn with the semi-cremated remains of a heavily pregnant woman carrying twins. But it's what the scientists found through osteological sampling that truly surprised them. Her partner, it turns out, wasn't from her local community or social class. This discovery contradicts the long-held belief that Bronze Age elites only married within their ranks. Instead, it suggests that even among the elite, unions across different social groups occurred. The woman's burial, with both valuable grave goods and biological clues, is forcing researchers to rethink the complexity of social structures at the time. The gold ring may be stunning, but the invisible story behind it, of lineage, migration, and unexpected relationships, is the real treasure buried beneath the earth. What do you think about it? Well let us know in the comments below. Number 1. The Warrior Burial in Finland's Suantaka Vesitor Nimmäki, what was once thought to be a typical medieval warrior grave has turned into one of archaeology's most intriguing gender revelations. First excavated in 1968, the grave contained a lavish bronze-hilted sword, armor, and other weapons, yet the clothing was unmistakably feminine for the era. For decades, the identity of the person buried there remained ambiguous but a 2021 DNA study brought clarity and complexity. The individual had Klinefelter syndrome, possessing XXY chromosomes. Biologically male yet genetically distinct, this person likely had traits associated with both sexes, such as breast development and less muscle mass. Still, they were buried with honor and ceremony, swords by their side, suggesting a high-status warrior. Their gender identity may have been fluid, but their community seemed to respect them beyond rigid definitions. In today's world, where gender identity is still debated, this one, 000, year-old grave shows a society that may have been far more accepting than we give it credit for. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you very soon.